Jalo, I wanted to ask about Josh Draper and his development, and is he ready to take on one of those big Carlton forwards? Oh, well, he is. Yeah, he's in the team to be a key forward. So, a uh, key back. Sorry. Um, yeah, and their job is to play on key forwards. So, um, yeah, you know, like I've been saying, is um, you know, Carlton have obviously got a couple of um, key forwards that are in really good form, getting good supply, um, yeah, and are winning their contests. So. Um, but yeah, that's why Drapes is in the team. So um, we'll see how it plays out. We haven't settled on matchups or structure or anything yet. But um, there's got to be a lot of things we do right up the field as well to to help PC and and Drapes and Luke for that matter out. You compared Draper to Michael Johnson on the weekend. Did you get carried away in the moment, or you, how far can you take that comparison? Oh, just it was more on the composure and, and the poise that he shows. Uh, he's he's yeah he's calm in. He's come in situations where maybe other younger players might panic. Um, and I, thought, I think we saw that, especially in a like, period in the third quarter where he had some pretty critical ground balls inside D50 and he was able to, um, yeah, be decisive and, and trust himself to be able to drive out of those contests. So, um, you know, John was obviously a, a really good player and played a lot of footy and Drapes is, you know, at the start of his career. So he's got a bit of work to do to build his game out, but... Um, yeah, he show, shows really good composure in those um, moments where maybe others might panic. Are you happy to say that this is the test? This is the t- an early test for you? I mean, <coughs> Brisbane were good, but they're not the Brisbane we thought they were. This is a premiership contender and, and away. Um, could this be the one that sort of sends a message that you're, you're, you're there? And, uh, nah, there's so much footy to be played, Barra, from <coughs> now to the end of the season. It's... it's um, it's another test for us, absolutely. A team that you know is undefeated, playing really good footy. Uh, yeah, and has obviously scored some um, really big scores this year. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a great test, but it's not not line, in line in the sand or anything like that. So, um, yeah, it's round four. Um, whatever we get out of this week, we'll look to improve on and move forward. And the gather round, does that, does that actually help you in some way, the fact that you're playing away from Melbourne? Oh, I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's um, you tend to play an interstate team on a neutral venue when it comes to gather around. We did that to Gold Coast last year. Yeah, so didn't don't know whether it helps us. It might help them. They don't have to come here. Have you had a look at their record at, in Adelaide? Though it's it's very good, Carlton. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really. Where? Yeah. I'm, I mean, tend to you tend to look you look back a little bit to obviously. You know, see what they did against us last time and, and scout the oppo, but um, yeah, we're a different team this year. Um, we're trying to look forward as much as we can and trying to build our footy, and we're, we're still not, not satisfied with, with where, where, we're, where we're at with our footy. Like, we've got some improvements to be made all over the field, so yeah, we're striving to put four quarters of our best footy together, something that we haven't done this year. When you talk about those forwards, obviously having Alex Pierce in the form that he's in and, and the confidence that he has at the moment, that's a really positive going into that game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's, he's, we've got a lot of players in good form, uh, just like they have. Uh, yeah, and Pierce has been able to yeah, set a really strong example with the way he's playing in the contest. Um, he's really decisive with his actions. Um, yeah, and he's, he's leading by example. And how have you seen Hayden Young in the midfield so far this year? Oh, he's been great. Yeah, he's probably a little bit quieter against North Melbourne um, in his role, but yeah, Brisbane game and, and last week I thought he was really strong. Um, he's adds a, another level of toughness in the midfield and the defensive pressure and the left foot kick uh, gives us a different dynamic in, dynamic in there. So yeah, happy with how he's going and happy with how the midfield's balancing up. And that midfield balance you mentioned will be really important against Colton as well. <clears> yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, look, it's. A lot gets made of their forward line, which rightly and rightly so, but they're on the end of good supply from their midfield. Um, so yeah, we need we need to get it right there. They've got some really good players through there, and they've got a you know, fair bit of depth through the middle of the ground. How do you stop Harry and Charlie? Um, <laughs> winning contests uh, and you know limiting supply as well. So you know, I, had, I think they had sixty or sixty plus inside fifties the last couple of weeks. So. Um, ball lives in their in their front half. It gives them a lot of opportunity. So we need to make sure that we get it done in the middle of the ground. We defend our front half really well. Um, and if they do get entries, it's um, under pressure or entries where we can get back and support. So, yeah.
it's a bit of a job. Will you take many across extras um, because you're obviously staying on? No, we'll just we'll take a squad for this week's game, uh, and whether that's one or two outside of the team. Um, yeah, we'll wait and see how we come out of training. But um, if we need um, extra bodies, we'll take some next week. It's a, it's a bit of a balancing act because we don't want to take players and for them to miss out on game time. So Peel play Sunday. Um, yeah, we'll make a call post that to see whether we bring any players over to help for the Port Adelaide game. And what about Sean, who's aiming to play that yeah. second game? Yeah, he'll, he'll come with us from the start. Are you excited about that, mate, getting the big fella back? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, or well, anyone that you can get back who's a, you know, a top top player in there, fell in their role, to add that to the team is um, yeah, a great in. So we'll worry about that next, next week, though. And Chapman as well gets yep. around the corner and you've got, I think, Nathan O'Driscoll as well. But Chapman, <coughs> does, it, does he stay as a defender or do you try him somewhere else? Oh, we'll, we'll wait and see. Oh, we're, we're pretty light on for numbers down in our back line. Um, we've had you know run of injuries to mainly backs. So, um, you know, you had Carl and, and the two keys that went down in Coxie and McDonald. So uh, he'll come back and play in that role. Um, and we feel like um, we need him elsewhere. We can adapt, but he'll come back and play minutes as a, as a back at Peel. There's been a lot of talk at recent off-seasons about the players that have left the club, but when you look across the 22, there's a lot of players now contributing um, Jeremy Sharp's another one that has mm. had a positive start to the season. Jordan Clark, one of your best players this year. It's really positive to see that integration. Yeah, it is. Uh, and gets lost sometimes when people talk about who leaves. And you know, we've actually attracted a lot of people, a lot of players to the club. And those players, like you said, are playing really important roles for us. Um, add Jacko to that. So, yeah, they've, they've fitted in really well. Like, you know, Clark, he's playing really good footy. Jacko's playing really good footy for us. Uh, yeah, and Sharp, he's playing his role on the wing. And... Yeah, he's only got a build. He had a bit of an interruption um, leading into the season, uh, missing the West Coast game, and yeah, um, yeah, played the Port game as his first game. So he's still building and building that cohesion with with his teammates. But yeah, it's only going to get better and better. Have you thought started thinking about what the team structure looks like, or how you play the two ruckmen if it is if it's that imminent Port Adelaide? When do you start looking into how it's going to work? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Things are going through my mind all the time, Barra. Um, yeah, well, yeah, realistically, we want to try and get back to um, using them the same way as we used them um, in the period last year when they were both playing really well in the in the four games leading into the bye before Sean got hurt. I think they were both in you know almost career best form in that period. Uh, understanding that you know there's going to be a bit of a transition period for Sean once to get his fitness up. Um, to be able to cope with higher ruck minutes. So um, they'll probably split the ruck early days. Um, you know, we, we really like Luke Ford of the ball. We really like him at, in the midfield around the ball, um, winning the ball at ground level. So we've got a bit of work to do, but yeah, they'll, they'll both be in the team um, when they're both fit. And do you, do you, I mean, we know Carlton doesn't like Adelaide Oval. Do you guys love Adelaide Oval? Uh, well, don't really have an opportunity to not like going somewhere. So you know, I'm sure Carlton and Sun are not liking going there. Um, yeah, well, it's a bit closer to home as well, so it's a nice sh- shorter flight than what we usually have. And I think as Perth teams, you just get used to having to play away and um, you know, embracing it. So played some good footy there. Um, probably we, we didn't play at, at, at our best against Adelaide last year, but I think previously our, our form's been good there. Yeah, it's a ground that we feel suits our style of play, so we look forward to getting back there. I heard Simon Garlic say that he's pushing for an extra home game for you guys and West Coast, that, you know, to equalise the comp a bit. Are you, obviously, you'd be in support of that. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> um, yeah, well, there's a lot of um, discussions going on behind the scenes about um, the equalisation of the competition. So that'll continue to happen. Uh, whatever comes out of that, I'm sure there'll be a lot of findings that come out of uh, those discussions and whatever gets implemented will embrace. It seems a bit fairer if there's a bit more balance there. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, the gather round got introduced and we have to travel again as as um, WA teams to increase our, our travel. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's a bit unfair. So we're, we're looking to equalise that.